What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. A few weeks ago on the channel, I uploaded my initial thoughts on the 2019 Huawei MateBook X Pro. And if you haven't seen that video, I will leave it linked down below in the description. You should definitely check it out as it is a pretty awesome machine. So the question that I got asked most of course was, can you game on this? So obviously, this is not by any means aimed at gamers, but it is the first thing that I went ahead and tried, if I'm totally honest, while I was in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress, so I thought I would go ahead and put this video together. So just to refresh your memory, the model that I have here contains the i7-8565U processor with 16GB of RAM and the new NVIDIA MX250 discrete GPU. So let's quickly check out some generic benchmarks. In Firestrike we managed to get a score of 2722, and moving on to Unigen Heaven, I ran this at 1080p and I achieved a score of 628 with an average of 24.9 FPS. So obviously those scores aren't amazing when it comes to gaming, but really all that matters is the FPS we get while gaming, so let's jump into that. So while I totally hate Fortnite, I decided it would be important to go ahead and test it out. And I was pretty impressed as the X Pro manages to keep the frames between 60 and 70 at native resolution with medium settings, so it's definitely very playable. From there I tested out Overwatch, and again at native resolution with medium settings we managed about 64 frames per second, and if you lower the resolution down to 1080, it sees the FPS jump up to 85, so again, this is very playable even at native resolution. Just before I jumped into more demanding titles, I wanted to go ahead and test Rocket League out. And at native res, with high performance settings, it achieved just over 60 frames per second, and when lowered to 1920 by 1200 it hits over 90 without any issues at all. So now onto my favourite game of the moment, and that is of course Apex Legends. This game is pretty much unplayable at native resolution, so I lowered it down to 1080 with settings all turned down and managed to hit around 40 FPS. And if we go ahead and lower it down further to 720p, we can see the FPS jump up to around 58. While it's not achieving that 60 frames per second that we are looking for, I did play around 2 or 3 hours of this whale in Barcelona and managed to get a few wins, so honestly it wasn't too terrible at all. Last up I went ahead and tested out GTA 5, and at 1920 by 1200 and normal settings applied, you can achieve around 50 FPS. If you're just messing around online or doing some races etc, then honestly, it's a pretty enjoyable experience overall. So there you have it, the MateBook X Pro can certainly handle some light gaming, making it an overall awesome package. So with the X Pro being so thin, I was very curious to see how the temperatures would react while I was benchmarking the system, and they hit around the 80 to 90 degree mark, so it wasn't actually too terrible, and while gaming it was obviously a little bit lower. One thing worth noting though is that the keyboard area does get a little bit warm, it's not going to burn your fingers or anything, but I was noting temperatures of around 42, 43 degrees at its hottest point. So playing games like Rocket League etc or GTA 5 when you're using a controller is obviously a lot more comfortable, but as I said I did play a good few hours of Apex without any issues at all. So that pretty much rounds this video up guys. The X Pro is an awesome machine, you can do light like, gaming on it and obviously it will handle your everyday other tasks. If you have any other questions about this, do let me know down below, and my full review of this will be coming up in a few weeks time when I take it on my travels. I am using this on a daily basis at the minute. So as always guys, thank you so much for tuning in, stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.